Hey Team Patriots, today we are going to learn about finding the volume of composite rectangular prisms. So this is going to come off of what we did on Tuesday and we're just going to build onto that, literally build onto it. So today we're talking about the volume of composite figures, but we have to understand what the word composite means. Composite is the makeup of more than one thing. And when we're talking about a composite figure, we're talking about the makeup of more than one geometric shape. So we've been looking just at single rectangular prisms, and now we're going to composite them together. So we're going to follow the step, these steps to find the volume of composite figures. We're going to decompose. So composite means to put together, so decompose means to take apart the figure into a regular rectangular prism. You're going to find the volume of each prism, and then we're going to add the volumes back together. So after we decompose them, we're going to compose them back together by adding them. Okay, let's look at an example. So this is a composite figure because you can see there are two rectangular prisms. So step one is to break apart the composite figure to decompose them. Then we're gonna find the volume of each. So a great way to do that is by labeling it A and B. So for the volume of A, we learned on Tuesday to find the volume of rectangular prisms, it's length times width times height. And remember that is volume, not area. So that would be three times two times five, our length, our width, and then that height. Gave us 30 feet cubed. A lot of us missed that question and said it was squared. It is not squared, they are cubed. And then for B, we would do the same thing. This would be a seven by two with a height of two. So two times two times seven would give me 28 feet cubed. And then your final step is to add them together, which would have given us 58 feet cubed. Let's take a look at another together. This one is also already broken up for you. So figure A, we are going to find the volume of. So for the first thing we're looking for is, remember it's length times width times height. So our length and our width are 12 and three. So 12 times three times five. And then if we work that out, 12 times 3 is 36 times 5 is going to give us 180. And you may use a calculator if you need to do that. Okay, for volume B, we have also length times width times height because this is also a rectangular prism. So our length and our width are both 3 in this one, so 3 times 3 times the height, which is 10. So then we have nine times 10, which we know is 90. So then we would do 180 plus 90, which would give us 270 feet cubed. Okay, let's do one more example problem. So this one says, find the total volume of the refrigerator. The freezer section is three feet by four feet by two feet. Actually, this is probably the two. The three is probably like a side over here. Okay, so to find the volume of the freezer, we would just do three times four times two. Well, three times four is 12 times two is 24. The refrigerator section is three feet wide, three feet long, and then four feet tall. So then we would do three times three times four. So we have nine times four which we know is 36, but we have to find that total, so we need to add that together. So we have to think 36 plus the 24, we get a 10, and then that becomes 60. So this would be 60 feet cubed. Okay, your code word for today, if you watch the video, is going to be April. The code word for today is April. Great job finishing the video. If you finish the video all the way to this point, don't leave yet. I have a secret to show you. Hey guys, kudos to making it to the end. Now I'm going to show you where a shorter assignment is, where you do not have to finish this entire slideshow. You will only do a Google form and it will take the place of your grade for this slideshow. So stick around. I'm about to show you. Okay, if you go back to the very first slide in Google in the Google Slides for today, and you click here, 
this Google form will pop up. And that is all you have to do. And you submit that and then you hit um, turn in. Then I will look on the Google form to see if you completed the Google form. If you did that, then you do not have to complete the slides. Have a great day. If you did get stuck and you're not sure, but you did watch the video, um, send me a message and let me know and I'll help you out. Have a great day, guys.